Most of us can make a good judgment of the speed of a vehicle based on how fast other vehicles are moving in a speed zone. Qualitative descriptors like going too fast, speeding, breaking the speed limit, etc. might be used to describe vehicles that appear to be breaking the speed limit. These qualitative terms are not false, but they contain very little information. It's often necessary to quantify our observations in order to make detailed assessments of the situation. The difference between quantitative and qualitative evidence is important to distinguish. This second video clip, where the speed is displayed numerically, is an example of quantitative data. How can we differentiate between quantitative and qualitative data? Qualitative data describes, explains, and characterizes the subject of investigation using words rather than numbers. Quantitative evidence, or data, contains a numerical measurement of some kind. As this data is numerical, it can be used in mathematical computations and statistical tests. In this module, you will have the opportunity to test your understanding of qualitative and quantitative evidence, as well as examine validity of evidence. In order to examine the validity of evidence, let's turn our attention to some of the quantitative data that has been measured. In this case, the speed of a car. The most common way this is measured is by a speedometer in a car. Additionally, the police service make use of a device known as a LiDAR to record the speed of vehicles and provide evidence in case of speeding. In this module, we'll be using data from the Queensland Police to further our understanding of validity of evidence.